What it do y'all and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very, very excited to do this video today. This is going to be a slightly different video for me. I am going to be doing exactly what it says in the intro. I'm going to be showcasing you guys my latest expensive purse purchase and also we'll try to be packing this purse. I'm very excited and hopeful to use it this week. So I want to go ahead and pack it and see what all can actually fit into this bag and also introduce this brand to you all in the event that you've never heard of them. Of course, they are definitely a black owned brand. That's another reason why I really wanted to go ahead and make the purchase this month. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Alrighty guys, so of course I feel like quite a few of you guys are going to ask me if I filmed this look. I did not. I'm still waiting for a couple of orders that I've made to come in to me so that I can do a couple more black owned full faces. So do just bear that in mind and I figured I'll just save all of my energy for filming full faces on those days and I just really wanted to get this video up. I am filming this hopefully the same night it will be going up. Cross your fingers, it is quite late though. Um, so basically, I was just perusing the Nordstrom site because they kept harassing me that they were currently having a sale and I saw this purse and it was so unique, so awe-dropping for me. It just gave me the vibes of the types of color scheme that I like and I really loved the uniqueness of it. Now, I technically already did an unboxing during the vlog that I'm actually currently filming behind the scenes, so that part won't be happening now, but now I'll be showcasing to you guys the purse, and then of course, like I said, showing you guys what's going on and what can actually be packed in the actual purse. As for my makeup, I kind of started to talk about it, but then I kind of forgot. Everything will be listed down below, don't you worry, so just check out down below. Um, and yeah, okay, let me clean my hands because I did just do my makeup and I like to use my hands and this is a new purse so no damaging this purse at least for you know a day or two um, so I actually had this shipped to a nearby Nordstrom store and that's honestly it just worked beautifully I went into the mall um, and while I was there I also did buy a couple more things you guys will be seeing all of that during the vlog which I hope to have up some point um, soon I just don't know when it was very minimal packaging but it was kind of being shipped to the store specifically for me so I didn't expect there to be a lot of packaging but I was thoroughly excited because this was not a store model this you could see was wrapped up and this is from the brand brother Valis. 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 we're gonna go with brother Valis. I believe that's the name um, I'll try to double check when I do my editing but are you guys ready I'm so like when I opened this in my car, it was so beautiful and it was everything I expected it to be, everything that I hoped it to be. So very much no buyer's remorse, regardless of how expensive this puppy was. It was definitely worth it. Like I said, black owned brand, luxury, handcrafted, all of that. This is the purse. This is the purse. Okay, so you get like this small kind of clutch-ish type bag with this beautiful kind of graphic design. Absolutely love it. Then you get these wood circles that are handcrafted to build the shape of the actual handle. You get this beautiful, beautiful kind of symbol and emblem right there absolutely love this purse i haven't opened it though so let's go ahead and open it okay already off the bat loving the fact that it is a magnetic seal i do i've become a bit bougie when it comes to that and really appreciate when it's a magnetic seal and i don't really have to think about it i can just close it and it just closes by itself so that is a plus there is a mirror which i definitely was not expecting but not hating that by any means and then there are two compartments. You can see the compartments are quite snug because just the composition of this purse is meant to be a smaller purse, 
not mad at that at all you also get like this wallet type style in this side so you get quite a few sections for you to put cards you also get a section where if you want to carry some cash or whatever have you it's very easily accessible and this is the front compartment so that's really nice you also get a middle zippered section the zipper is working beautifully. The inside of this middle compartment is slightly lighter, so I'm definitely thinking it's a different material. Um, and then the same material on this back in compartment. It looks immaculately built. I'm just gonna look at it really quickly to see if there's anything crazy going on, but I'm thinking this has definitely found its home with me. So, I'm satisfied and happy with this, but I do just want to point out in the corner, in this corner over here, where the purse is like cinched to kind of really create this very structured, compact design, the bottom nook is unfinished. At least it appears to be unfinished. There's quite a few threads that are somewhat unraveled in that area. I'm going to try to come in so you guys can see it. Um, just so that you know, I don't care because I'm going to wear this purse to the ground. So I don't care if there's a little bit of like wear showing now. I'm sure it was just a part of the vibe and aesthetic. But let me just show you guys in the event that you're interested in this brand and or this purse. I will, of course, have this purse linked down below. Although I believe I literally bought the last one. That's what at least was toting. So who knows about that? So down here in this corner, this is what I was talking about. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm too far away from the camera to see myself, but if you can, this middle junction at this bottom section is where there's just a little bit of unfinished kind of threading going on. And so I just wanna kind of be fully transparent and clear when it comes to this particular purse, because if you do take the plunge to actually pick it up, it is not cheap by any means. And thankfully, I was able to get it on like a 50 to 60 percent discount so <laughs> I was able to swallow that price a little bit easier um, because of that but I think this will work exactly for what I was expecting which is to be a really great kind of um, over the shoulder purse for when I'm wearing jeans and kind of being casual. I would not necessarily dress this purse up personally, although I definitely think you can if that's your vibes and your aesthetic. It just wouldn't be a part of mine. I feel like the wood carvings and the design, it just feels and reads a lot more casual to me. But we're done talking. I want to rip off the tag because I'm definitely keeping it. I don't know why I didn't rip off the tag before. Okay, so she is definitely mine, and I have my current purse that I'm using, which is just an old daddy from Kohl's, I want to say. I have like my <laughs> hand sanitizer poking out. Different purses give me different vibes. This is my very casual vibes purse, so there's that. I like to wear this when I go to my retail job because I really don't care what happens to this purse, and that job, we do have lockers, but like... Do I know how clean those lockers are? I think not. So I don't carry a lot in my purses anymore because I do tend to literally transition my purses quite frequently. Like literally today alone, I've already used two different purses because I used my Teflar bag when I was doing my errands and then I used this bag when I was going to work. So I transition my purses quite often. So I've really downsized what is important to have in my purse and what is not. So first of all, I have my keys. I have my card case, which has my important cards. I don't have a lot of cards that I really carry around anymore. It's just only the necessities. Let's see, I usually have some form of lip product, whether it's a lip balm or a lip oil. And I do actually have a lip oil coming on its way, or I need to pick it up, one of the two. So I'm just gonna use this as a representative lip oil. I also always have some form of hand lotion. This is a bigger size than I usually do, but it's just because this purse is big. I think I have another hand lotion in my organizer, so I'm or in my desk, so I'm just gonna pull that one out for the purposes of this video. And then I usually have my pouch. If you're a female, you know what's in the pouch, okay? So this is typically what I like to have, but in this type of purse, I generally don't keep a pouch because 
I'm usually using it for one day and then I'm done. And so I will put the necessities that I may or may not need in there. Right now, the only necessity that I need from that pouch is actually my eyeglass kit because <laughs> my glasses are broken and the lens keeps popping out every so often. So I keep an eyeglass case with me just to make sure that I'm good to go. Actually, let's, let's be true to test. Let's go ahead and pull that out and I'll actually put that into this purse to test it out. Where is it? Here is my eyeglass kit. I also, of course, always have my phone on me. It's actually on my desk right now. So I will just pull that. And I typically always have a backup mask or two. I just stuff them after I've used them for whatever purpose. And I just always have a mask on me. So let me just find the hand lotion real quick. Okay, this is one of the smallest kind of backup hand lotions that I have. I don't mind going for a smaller container or whatever, but I just need to see what can fit into this purse. Okay, so necessities are necessities. Definitely the case, my card case has to go in here. I'm gonna put it in the middle zipper part because that's like the biggest thing, right? Then my keys are a necessity. I always have my keys. I have very minimal keys, um, but maybe the lanyard would be the hardest part. Okay, the lanyard definitely takes up quite a bit of room, but it works, so we'll keep going. Next, the necessity would be my phone. This is an iPhone 14 X Max. Not the biggest, but it's like the second biggest. It's like the middle one for this brand. Um, okay, so now I can no longer close this, so it's no longer secure, not for me. Not for me at all. So what I would probably do is downsize my keys. Yeah, I would downsize my keys so that I literally took off like the key loops that I need. So probably my car key and like my house key would probably be the two things that I would keep. Um, oh, I actually don't need this key anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, I would probably break this down for the occasion. So actually, let's make this as realistic as possible. Give me one second. I'm actually going to just go ahead and do that because who knows, in the future, I might just need to downsize like this for, I don't know, an emergency. So it would just be easier to already have that good to go. Because all of the like cards and stuff, they're just superfluous. This is it. Now let's test out my theory of just being able to use these by themselves because I am not the girl that's going to carry my keys in my hand. It's just not happening. Okay. All right. So with just my car keys and my two house keys, it works beautifully. Okay. Let's keep going. We have the glasses case, which hopefully very soon I will no longer need to carry around. I have just a symbolism of a lip balm. And then this ham cream I can already feel isn't going to work, but we will try it. Yeah, the ham cream is too big, so I would need a smaller one. I know the Target brand, their hand cream is quite small, but I also would probably not need a hand cream. I also have one actually permanently in my car, so it's not necessity. And then the last thing I have is I just stuffed my mask. I don't ever care how the mask is, I just want it in there. So I was able to get the true necessities in this purse, which is definitely a plus. And let me just show you guys what's going on. So on this side, all I have is my phone. In the zippered section, I have my card case, which if I really wanted to get into the weeds of like really maximizing my space, I could probably take the actual cards out and put them into the card section that they present for this purse. I just don't feel that that is very secure. Like you just never know. So that's just not a thing for me. Then on this side, I have my keys, my lip balm, my eyeglass case or kit. And then of course my 
mask. So these are the necessities that I would need for a day-to-day -day basis. And this fits beautifully under my shoulder. I do tend to have quite chunky um, arms and like boo area. And then I also do have quite a wide shoulder area as well. I'm just, I'm a large size. I'm just large and in charge, if you will. So the fact that this actually works and I don't feel like this would be too short of a shoulder section or shoulder strap for like maybe a bigger jacket. I am so thrilled, so thrilled with this. And actually I'm going to go ahead. Am I going to play myself and show you guys the fact that my outfit isn't as cute as it may appear? <laughs> Let me just kind of do a, a sorority squat. Okay, so sorority squatting, you guys can see this fits like pretty much right under my boob, if not in that direct boob area. So it's nice and secure and snug. So whatever may happen, I know that I can kind of make sure that my shoulder bag is right next to me. I think this is the perfect length of a shoulder bag. I love the compactness. I love the uniqueness of it all. And as I've said, I did do very recently my like luxury purse collection where I just showcased the few purses that I do have that are quite pricey and I was saying that I like to really bring in unique things and this was just something that caught my eye on the Nordstrom site super unique very very excited to have this and I can't weight at all to literally use this as an everyday purse or kind of a fun like day purse um and yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to talk about. I guess I didn't talk about the brand. I'm so sorry. I was just so excited. Let me pull up some information. Let's talk about this brand because I definitely think that this is not a brand that a lot of people know about. Even the couple of people that I follow that do like purse reviews or whatever have you, they have never mentioned this brand. So I do want to go ahead and talk about them very quickly okay so this is the kind of about or their story for this brand brother Visalis was founded in 2013 with a goal of keeping traditional African design practices and techniques alive while also creating and sustaining artisanal jobs now handmade artisanally across the globe brother Visalis creates luxury accessories that celebrate cultural histories and timeless design Toronto native and New York City transplant creative director and founder Aurora James amassed an impressive resume of fashion industry experience prior to starting Brother Vasalis. Her background in fashion, journalism, art, music, photography, and horticulture joins a forever passion for artisanship, design, and humanitarianism, humanitarianism to create truly one-of-a-kind pieces that will remain in your wardrobe forever. And then there was another thing that I really wanted to say. It was on the, what I felt like was the main page. Um, yes, and ooh, they have a something special subscription. Let's read about it. We have made a something special. When you join our family, we will send you new, specifically curated artisanal home goods after the 15th of every month, and you could subscribe to get it. And let's see how expensive this is. It's only $35 per month, which is not expensive at all. I would love to see what they actually give during this. Right now, I'm not in a place that I would need something that is a home good every month, but I will definitely keep this in mind um, when that becomes a reality that I can do. But there's also a section that's talking about what it all means. We are not just creating products, we are making notes on cultures, creating symbols, collaborating for personal freedoms, and capturing moments. Brother Vasalis is a collection of item, items that reinforce the best parts of who we all are and hope to be, sometimes just existing as you are, is a revolutionary act. And 
bro i don't know if it's just the talk but this this brand is just speaking to me it spoke to me on the nordstrom um website and i'm literally getting goosebumps right now i'm i might be making another order i might be making another order because this plate it just it sounds great I will have the actual brand's page linked down below, as well as I will go ahead and link down below to the subscription section so you guys can just kind of get into the nitty gritty there. And then lastly, I will go ahead and have down below the Nordstrom site link page for them because they do sell through Nordstrom which is a quite big um, platform in the event that you want to get your Nordstrom note points. Um, I will have that down below as well. But I am thoroughly, and I do mean thoroughly excited about this brand. I am in love <laughs> with this particular purse. And as long as everything goes according to plan, I feel like I'm going to be really diving into this brand a lot more than I maybe had thought prior to picking up this purse definitely comment down below your opinions your thoughts i would love to hear it and yeah with that said i don't have anything else to talk about today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys